Oh, man. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, uh, well, you know, a lot, a lot of positive things um, that, that, that happened out there tonight. I thought that um, we, we handled the ball better. Had we turned it over like we did against UTSA, wouldn't have won the game. And, um, you know, our guys that, that didn't start came in and handled it pretty well for the most part. Uh, Devon Campbell, I thought, made great strides tonight. Um, Hooper, you know, not something that we really designed for him to step out and shoot those bombs. <laughs> okay. But they, but they went in, and so we'll take them. How about that? We'll take them. Um, I did hear on his visit from one of our players that he got out there the first day on his visit, and he made – uh, in his jeans and T-shirt coming in from Van Buren. One of the guys said he stepped out there and, and they told him to shoot a free throw. He made 21 in a row, and they told him to shoot a three, and he made 11 in a row. That's why he's going to be okay one day. He just, um, uh, you know, he runs well. He's got good hands. Uh, he, he can catch it. He's got good touch. He just has to learn how to play defensively and offensively, and, uh, and, uh, and he'll grow, and he's going to get better and better. Uh, Jock, Jock was much better tonight, and uh, and that that really helps us. Um, I like the fact that Cedric Lang had nine rebounds and and was able to 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 um, um, you know even though he didn't score a point, he helped us on the glass. I thought he was a factor back down down low. And and C J Cooper played with poise late. I was glad we were able to play him uh, late when it was a tight game. So you know our team grew a little bit tonight and. Um, we played against a team that played the way they have to play to win, and uh, they were very patient. Uh, I thought for the most part we were um, – we took some shots with a lead in the last three and a half, four minutes that we shouldn't have, shouldn't have taken, um, but we hadn't had time to work on game situations. And, uh, and we'll try to grow from that, you know, a couple quick, quick, uh, quick shots. Uh, Julian Washburn, the job that he did on Phil Martin was – Terrific, absolutely terrific. Uh, uh, Martin uh, had had 33 points in 28 the last two times he played, and um, Julian just did a tremendous job of limiting his catches and touches and um, staying between him and the basket. The guy's a, a great driver and uh, really the guy they rely on, and that was a real plus for our team. What about it? It seemed like uh, your height kind of gave him a little trouble. He'll follow from there. Yeah, may have, may have. You know, I think it, it helped us um, alter some shots around the basket that they um, normally make and that they had made in their exhibition games, and then it gave us an advantage on the boards. And I guess if there is a real positive from the first two games, regardless of who we're playing, is that we've out-rebounded our first two opponents, which was something that we couldn't do a year ago. So we'll just try to sit back and have some fun and watch these young guys grow, and, um, and hopefully they'll get better. As the year goes on, you know they're going to certainly all have minutes. Certainly, all have opportunities. And uh, the shots that Jalen Ragland missed today, he'll make them all at some point in his career. And uh, that's why we brought him in. But I thought he grew defensively tonight, and was a real positive factor as well. You, you that yeah, we we felt like we felt like he could be as good an on-ball defender as there was. Uh, in our league and maybe the country. He's got great, great athleticism and feet. And uh, and he applied it today, and he did a, did an outstanding job. Hooper took those threes. What was your reaction? <coughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. But he had and, then, and, then, and then my other thought was that coach's snake bet because they both went, both went in, you know. But uh, – He's capable of that. He's capable of making a shot, and we haven't tried to restrict him in that area. He, he can do that. Coach, the stats said he was six points in the paint. Is that just a fluke, or is that something that's going to be a struggle? Uh, it, it will be a struggle. You know, we're, we're um, you know, at, at times don't, don't have great lift off the floor. But I, I think you also have to um, – attribute a lot of that to a team that, that is so well coached. They had five guys with a foot in that paint all the time. And when somebody caught it, there was a second defender coming very quickly. And their game plan was to make us make shots. And fortunately, we made 75% of our threes tonight. And um, had we not done that, I'm not sure we could have won if we'd have shot it like we did against UTSA. So that's part of the reason why it was a slow start offensively? Yeah, we just uh, – 
you know, we had not run any of our sets, um, our man-to-man -man sets. We didn't run them in our exhibition games and then played against zone against um, UTSA. So we were kind of being really smart and, and saving our, our sets for when we played a regular season man-to-man -man team. I don't think we scored out of a set yet. We didn't execute any of them. So we should have been running them, you know, in, in hindsight against Sol Ross and, and um, Eastern New Mexico, all right? But at least we have a chance now to know that uh, we've got to clean those up as well and get them better. And uh, we didn't get much mileage out of any of them. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.